what to look for in a woman. You see, as a Christian brother, you want to get married, you are hoping to have a happy home. Particularly that God would even guide you. Now, you must know what you are looking for. The Bible says, he who finds a wife has found a good thing and has obtained favor from the Lord. Number one, that tells you that there is a difference between a woman and a wife. You see, you are not looking for a woman. You are looking for a wife. Many, a lot of men are looking for a woman instead of looking for a wife. See, there are many women in the world, but there are very few wives in the world. Just as there are many men in the world, but very few husbands. The scripture says a faithful man who can find. So what you are looking for is one, a wife. Now, but in Genesis 2.18, the Lord said that it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make for him a help, a help meet for him, a help comparable to him. Now, what, what exactly does that mean in times of searching for who to marry. It means that when you set out to marry as a man, I want you to pay attention to this. This is where a lot of men have missed it in life. This is where they got it wrong in marriage. As a man, what you are looking for in a woman is the woman in whom God has um, located your help. Did you get it? You are looking for the woman where God has located your help. The day you understand this, it will deliver you from all the um, wishing it was this, wishing it was that, wishing it was this. It will deliver you. It will save you a lot of headache. You are not looking for the woman with the best face, with the best, with figure eight, with the most beautiful face, with the most beautiful shape. That's not what you are looking for. You are not looking for a woman that understands you. <laughs> you are not looking for a woman you have feelings for. You are not looking for a woman that can cook. You are not looking for a woman that can take care of your children. You are looking for that woman that God has located your help. Now, that means that you can never find that woman without the help of God. It's not possible because it is God who locates help in a woman. How would you then know the woman where God has located your help? That is why you need God. That is why you must also trust God. You see, you can see a woman and be like, wow, she's going to make a great wife for me. She's godly. She's virtuous. She knows how to do this. She knows how to do that. But God may not have located your help in that woman. It doesn't mean anything is wrong with that lady. It simply means that lady is not the container that has your help. You see, there's something God took from the man and put in a woman. So what you are looking for is the woman that has the thing, the, the emptiness that God creates in you. The, the woman that has that part, that is what you are looking for. That's why you need God to marry right. If you don't know this, you will fall in love and think, you, oh, ah, sir, I really love this woman. My heart is for her. That is, you know, those are not the things that matter. The ways of the kingdom, they are completely different. I can tell you this authoritatively. You see, when you marry correctly, when you marry the woman that has the path, that has your help, that contains the help that God plans for your life, when you marry that woman, as you grow in marriage, you will appreciate that choice. You see, when God leads you to a choice, in the beginning, it may not look like it. But I'm telling you, oh my God. You see, God is just, is, 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 is a superior intelligence. We can't compare to him. He knows how he works these things out. So if God is telling you and say, see, that sister, that's the one. My brother, jump at that sister. You won't regret it. You know why? God knows that he has kept something about you in that woman. When you marry that woman and the help continue to unfold, you will be, then you start saying, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to you for this woman. 
That's what you'll be saying. Any man that marries right, that's what they say every day. Oh, Lord, thank you for my wife. Oh, God, thank you for my wife. You know why they are saying that thank you? You know, people may not understand. They are not just, you know, they, it's not just this regular kind of thank you. It's a thank you that comes by experience and revelation. The more they relate with their wives, the more they, they are like, God, there was no way I could ever have chosen the best like this. How did you choose this kind of wonderful woman for me? So you must understand it, that you are looking for the woman that has your help. So it means you need the guidance of the Lord. You need Jesus to guide you to that woman that has your help. That's what you are looking for. Many don't know what they are looking for. Some are looking for women that are good in bed. Some are looking for women with big breasts. Some are looking for women with small breasts. Some are looking for women with like, uh, light skin color. Some are looking for Caucasian. Some are looking for Asian. You know, we are looking for all the wrong things. That's why many men are wrongly married. You will see their wife and you will say to yourself, what is the problem? What is this man still looking for? You can't understand it. His help wasn't located in that woman. But he has married the woman and the covenant has been established. And he has to live with the woman for the rest of his life. But you have opportunity if you have not made a choice. You have that opportunity to get it right. Number one, you are looking for a wife, not a woman. Understand that. There are many women out there. Because some of you, you see all, all, all kinds of women out there and you think, wow, look at this one. Wow, look at this one. Wow, look at... Those are just women. A wife is different. When you see a wife, when God shows you a wife, you know among women, this one, is, there is something different about this. Then specifically, for you to now know the person who is particularly for you, it has to be somebody that carries your help. So you need the help of God. Of course, I'm not going into details in this video. Let me just say that you need the wisdom of God, the word of God, and the leading of the Holy Spirit for you to choose right. But at least you must know what you are looking for. If I'm, if I'm looking for a hand sanitizer, but this is the picture I have in mind. This is bigger. This is a powder. This is, if I see this, I'll be so excited. Whereas this is what I should have been, this is what I should have picked. You know, so you should know what you are looking for. You are looking for a hand sanitizer. You are not looking for a powder. So that when they throw a powder at you, you say, no, I'm not looking for this. People can't understand. People are like, this is bigger. This is better. But you are saying no. You say no. Why? You know why you're saying no? Because you know specifically what you're looking for. I pray the Lord will give you wisdom. That's why I want to invite you. Uh, we have a free marriage course. And it is free from beginning to the end. It is completely free for men, for sisters, brothers. We have one for singles. We have another one for married. But I hope, I suspect that most people watching this video will probably be singles. So I want to invite you to enroll for this course. You will do it on your mobile device. All you need is just your email. You are going to do it through email. Like I said, it's free from beginning to the end. You will learn how to make right marital choice. Because you need to choose right. That's the foundation. The Bible says if the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? Once you get the choice wrong, wow. <laughs> it will take something extraordinary for you to be able to turn it around and make it right again. So I want to invite you to take this course. All you need to do is send an email to BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. What I mean by that is just write a message with your name. And uh, just tell us your name and that you are single, your marital status, and that you are interested in taking the marriage course. That's all. That's all. And then we will send you the enrollment form. Now, the email address is BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. That's all you need. Just send a message to that email that you're single and you want to enroll for the free marriage course. They, you can write me to request for the email address if you don't get it. If you check all of our platforms, uh, the email address is always written on all of our platforms. If you are watching this on the YouTube channel, check the description. If you are watching on Facebook, check the profile, check the video. You will always have that email address uh, on all the channels where we share our videos. It will guide you. It will help you. It will go a long way uh, to guide you to choose the right person to marry. 
My name is Olusegun Mokolu. God bless you.